in applying Six Sigma, organizations, teams, and project managers seek to implement strategies that are based on measurement and metrics. Historically, many business leaders made decisions based on intuition or experience. Despite some common beliefs in various industries, Six Sigma doesn't remove the need for experienced leadership, and it doesn't negate the importance of intuition in any process. Instead, Six Sigma works alongside other skills, experience, and knowledge to provide a mathematical and statistical foundation for decision-making. Experience might say a process isn't working, statistics prove that to be true. Intuition might guide a project manager to believe a certain change could improve output. Six Sigma tools help organizations validate those assumptions. Beta testing is sometimes used in a Six Sigma approach, but the idea or change in question goes through rigorous analysis and data testing first. Now, beta testing is the act of implementing a new idea, system, or product with a select group of people or processes in as controlled an environment as possible. After beta testers identify potential problems and those problems are corrected, the idea, system, or product can be rolled out to the entire population of customers, employees, or processes. The purpose of beta testing is to reduce the risks and costs inherent in launching an unproven product or system to a widespread audience. The disadvantage of launching ideas into beta or to an entire population without going through a Six Sigma methodology is that organizations can experience unintended consequences from changes, spend money on ideas that don't end up working out as planned, and impact customer perceptions through trial and error periods rife with opportunities for error. In many cases, organizations that don't rely on data make improvements without first understanding the true gain or loss associated with the change. Some improvements may appear to work on the surface without actually impacting customer satisfaction or profit in a positive way. The Six Sigma method lets organizations identify problems, validate assumptions, brainstorm solutions, and plan for implementation to avoid unintended consequences. By applying tools such as statistical analysis and process mapping to problems and solutions, teams can visualize and predict outcomes with a high level of accuracy, letting leadership make decisions with less financial risk. Six Sigma methods don't offer a crystal ball for organizations, though. Even with expert use of the tools that we will discuss in this Lean Six Sigma crash course, problems can arise for teams as they implement and maintain solutions. That's why Six Sigma also provides for control methods. Once teams implement changes, they can control processes for a fraction of the cost of traditional quality methods by continuing the use of Six Sigma tools and statistics. So, decision-making with Six Sigma seems more efficient, right?